Hello everyone, welcome to my tutorial on how to make a drawstring A-line dress. Okay, so as we all know, it's a drawstring season. Basically, there's so many outfits that you can make using the drawstring. Um, today, I'm going to be showing you how to make the A-line kind of drawstring dress. That's because I want to be able to wear this garment to the office without looking so um, sexy. Because the drawstring dress in its sense is actually sexy, you know, because you have to put the rope, you know, flaunt your legs and all that. So in this tutorial, I want mine to be A-line so it's not very sexy so that I can wear it to the office and still look professional. So if you're interested in this um, type of outfits, make sure you keep watching. So as always, you're welcome to my channel. My name remains Princy Kanayo Okoje. I am the sole tutor and founder of the QFX. The QFX, as we already know, is an online training platform and a fashion designing platform where you can get all the lessons that you need to um, develop, build, or expand your knowledge on fashion designing. I currently teach pattern drafting, I teach sewing, I teach computer pattern drafting, I teach fashion illustrations using mobile or laptop. So you can always contact me, contact me using any of the details in the description box. You can have access to all my lessons and tutorials on Telegram. So basically, if you really, really want to find me, just click on the Telegram link below and you can have access to all my video tutorials. Remember, I conduct my online trainings for free from 14 to 30 days, depending on the course that you sign up for. So if you want to learn how to sew online, then you want to take part in my lessons. All right. Um, so we're going to start diving straight into the lesson um i'm going to be showing you the pattern drafting way of creating this design and also the sewing process so we're going to go through the pattern drafting and sewing process on how to make this dress um, but for those of you who may not be comfortable with the whole drafting process you want to skip this whole process and just you know have the pattern and, and start sewing then you need to click the link below this video and have access to the electronic slash digital pattern of this dress yes i've already drafted a pattern for this dress and what is more interesting about the sewing pattern is that you can make three outfits from this pattern you can make a crop top with your peppermint sleeve you can make um a drawstring uh, skirt, airline skirt, or you can make the whole outfit of the airline dress. So you can actually make three outfits from this pattern, and these patterns are available for you to download on my online store. So just click the link below this video and you can download the tutorial. You can also brush through other sewing patterns that might, you might find interesting or might, you might be interested in and download uh, for free um for your sewing pleasures so for those who would like to continue this journey with me who would like to see how the whole pattern drafting process is going to be and also how the sewing process is going to be make sure you keep watching and don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so that you can be notified of more videos that might be coming your way and also make sure you give this video a thumbs up and you know Let's get down to the tutorial. So the first thing you are going to need, of course, is your blocks. 
um i'm going to be working with a dress block now a dress block for those who are beginners is a combination of your basic bodice block and your skirt block so you can see right here on my table i already have that combination i've combined my bodice and my skirt and i have a dress block so you're going to need of course the block for the front and the back as well as your sleeve pattern so i'll repeat again these are the three things you're going to need you're going to need your dress block which comprises of your front and your back and your sleeve pattern for those who do not know how to draft a dress block or a basic bodice block or a skirt block or even a sleeve pattern then you might want to visit my description box click on the link below to have access to my pattern drafting classes where i teach you for 30 days free on how to draft patterns all right so with your patterns already on your table you can see right here i have them on my table the first thing i'm going to do is to focus on the front so i'm going to put the other blocks aside and then focus on the front i'm going to demarcate of course to have my body my bodies and my skirts um dimension so i'm just going to cut through the waistline so that i can have my bodies and then i'll have my skirts and then i'll put the skirt aside so that i can focus on the bodies so right here is my bodies for the front and you can see i have two dots i have my bust dart and i have my waist dart now from the design that i created from this fashion illustration you can see right here by the way you can learn how to draft your ideas bring your ideas to life by simply joining my fashion illustration class using mobile or computer i will teach you how to create your own ideas or how to bring them to life using your mobile phones and computers so i drafted out this illustration you see here and you can see from this illustration i have um a prison seam running from the arm hole down to the waist so this means that i have to uh, manipulate my darts to the appropriate location so that i can have that piece of seam okay so as you can see right here on my table my bust is unfortunately at the my, my darts are unfortunately at the bust region and at the waist so which means i have to manipulate my bust dart to the armhole so that i'll be able to create that system now for those who are hearing the word that's manipulation for the first time it's basically a pattern drafted technique that allows you to move your darts to your preferred location on your body's skirts to achieve a particular design or style that you have in mind so it's a unique pattern drafted technique that you will learn in one of my classes so make sure you join my pattern drafting class using the link below this video <laughs> All right, so after manipulating my boss that to the armhole, as you can see right here, I'm going to um, uh, I'm going to put my bodies aside. So now that we are done with our front bodies. I'm going to take the back piece for my dress block right here and put it on the table. I want to demarcate the front, the bodies and the skirt just like I did with the front piece. But before I do that, I'm going to include a contour dart at the waistline. I'm going to measure 0 0.5 inches above the waistline at the center, back line, and 0 0.5 inches downwards. <laughs> And then using my ruler, I'm just going to join the points back to the original waistline. This is what we call a contour dart. Now the point of this is so that I can fit in my zipper at the waist without having issues. It will cause the um, the zipper not to budge out, okay? So it will just smooth or mirror in to the center back line. So that's basically why I am creating this contour dart. So now that I'm done using my scissors, 
I'm going to cut my bodies and then my skirt and then get rid of the contour that. All right, so now we have our bodies and then we have our skirt. I will not be doing much work any further with the bodies, so I'm going to put the bodies aside and then focus on the skirt part. So I'm going to begin with my front skirt pattern. So as you can see right here, my skirts for the front and I'm going to place it on my table. The next thing we want to do is to decide how full the fullness of the inline. You know, there are those of us who like our skirts to be very full and there are those who do not like their skirts to be very full. Personally, I want mine to not to not have so much fullness, but nevertheless, I'm going to show you how to do that. To create more fullness for your inline, you want to include slash lines before the waist dart and after the waist dart. So I'm going to draw a slash line before the waist dart, starting from my center front line and after the waist dart before the side seam. And then I'm going to close my waist dart. So to do that, I'm going to draw a line from the waist dart down to the hem of the skirt and literally close the dart by taking off the waist dart. Now when I do that, you can see that my side seam will pivot and create that inline look for our skirt. This is where I would stop for myself. But for those who want to go further to create more fullness, I'm going to show you how to do that. So you want to do that by slashing through your slash lines but make sure you do not slash completely leave about 0.15 inches at the top that is the waistline okay and then you can spread as much as you want um, but I'm going to stop here and attach papers underneath so that we can see how. So we have literally created an inline sketch with so much fullness by doing so. So I'm going to attach papers underneath and tape them down. Sellotape. So this is how full your inline can be when you increase or include more slash lines. But like I said, this is not what I want. So I'm going to take off this paper and close back those slash lines. The only lines, line spread I'm going to have is that that was created by closing my dot. <music> So this is how full I want my front or how I want my skirt to be. So I'm going to repeat this process for the skirt part of my back piece. Okay. And then I'll show you what next to do. So now that we are done with the back piece, 
we're going to draw up our fashion illustration once again so that we can look, take a better look at our design. In the front, you can see that we have our drawstring in the curve form starting from one side of the front to the hem of the front skirt. So to do that, it means that we need to have a full front of our pattern. So to create a full front of our pattern, it means we have to duplicate the front piece. So I'm going to take my front piece, place the paper underneath, and then you know just trace around it to create another piece for our front. And then I'm going to use a paper tape to join them at the center front. Mm -hmm. So after doing this, we want to create that curve uh, drawstring effect that we saw in the design. So I'm going to be using the dots as a guide and I'm going to you know, create a curve. You can use your French curve ruler to do this, but I'm just going to just work with the free hand from the dot down to the hem of the skirt pattern. So after doing this, I'm going to take my scissors and cut through this curve that I've created. And now I have two pieces for my front. So I'm going to place them aside. So the next thing we want to do is to adjust a sleeve pattern also for my fashion illustration you can see that our sleeve has a peplum at the hem so i'm going to get my sleeve pattern at the elbow level i'm going to measure four inches downward and mark and then create a line to join the points together using my scissors i'm going to cut the elbow to create a bicep sleeve and then a piece for my peplum mm -hmm. In order to create that peplum look, 
I'm going to create two more slash lines on my pattern and then I'm going to cut making sure I do not cut completely leaving about 0.15 inches at the hem <music> So I'm going to spread these slashes and just attach pieces of paper underneath the spread. And you can see that we have created we have literally created a peplum for our sleeve so now that we are done with all these patterns i'm going to put them aside and then get my fabric of choice mm -hmm. 